Hi everyone, welcome to Woodfired Weekly at Manor from Devon. This week we're going to be cooking a lovely, healthy, vegetarian South Indian squash curry recipe. We're also going to be cooking a naan bread. We're going to try and get that lovely curry shop naan bread feel, so nice and crispy on one side, light and fluffy on the top, little bit scorched, and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that in your wood fired oven. First thing we're going to need to do, of course, is make some dough. So in my bowl here, I've got the ingredients for this naan bread that we're going to make. It is in our book, Wood Fired Pack Flatbreads and Pancakes. We will, of course, provide you with the recipe if you follow the link below. So in here, I've got 250 grams of uh, plain flour, 250 grams of strong bread flour. And we're trying to get this mix of, of strength, but also kind of breakability so that we get some little bread. We've also got some yogurt. We see that a lot in Indian breads, in Middle Eastern bread breads to soften the whole thing. And some ghee, along with, of course, some salt and some, some yeast. So we can just mix all of those up and add 250 grams of warm water. So I'm quickly bringing this together with the dough scraper. As the fats in there warm up, we'll find they get even stickier. You can see at the moment the, the ghee is fairly solid, but that's gonna melt. So we might find it starts to get a little bit stickier and we might choose to work it like that. And we should find that after two, three, four minutes of working, the fats will start to bind into the flour and we'll lose that initial stickiness. So three or four minutes of, of kneading, the dough has pretty much lost all of its tackiness and it's become nice and smooth and elastic. So we're going to set that aside, leave that warm spot will be fine and we're going to leave that for an hour or two to rise and ripen and ferment a little bit. And here is one we made earlier. And now you can see this is very soft, nicely risen. Fairly easy to handle. No stickiness anymore. Shape these into balls and whilst we make the curry, they can just relax a little bit. So all I do is sticky bit of dough, stretch easily, get it rolling nicely on the, the bench top and then a little bit of pressure from the inside of my hand to make a, a little dough ball like that. Okay, on to the curry. So we're going to be using squash and in the oven, heating up, I've got a, uh, a nice cast iron wok that I like to use for these kind of dishes. It's nice and sturdy, I can spin it around easily in the oven because it doesn't have a a handle uh, and it's ideal for dishes with lots of sauce that I can slosh around a bit. So this pan is already nice and hot in that oven which as you can see has got a nice fire in it. It's sitting there it's sort of one Mississippi or so. Really nice and toasty and straight into that hot oil I'm going to go with some mustard seeds and they're already got a little sizzle going on there. And then into there some onion some curry leaves, some Kashmiri chilies, stir all of that around and then back into the oven for just a, a few minutes to start soften the onions, just two or three minutes. So that's had a couple of minutes, wonderful smells and I'm going to add to that two teaspoons of homemade garam masala, two teaspoons of ground coriander a half a teaspoon cayenne pepper chili powder just give that a little stir around briefly cook those spices in the existing heat and then into that tomato half a tin of coconut milk and then we're going to add the squash. As you can see, we've chopped up this squash fairly large. You might be tempted to chop it down nice and small and think that'll cook really nice and quickly. I'll have my dinner ready in five minutes. 
but actually what happens then is it turns into a mush and doesn't hold its shape so well. So nice big chunks. A little bit of salt. And now I'm going to cover this with a lid. Pop that in the oven. 10 or 15 minutes should see that nicely cooked. And I'll just give that a little stir from time to time. Test the squash with a sharp knife. So I can hear my, my sauce in there bubbling away really quite vigorously. I have got the, the oven nice and hot because I'm going to want it nice and hot when I come to cook the naan breads. And if I do think the sauce is drying out a little bit too quickly, no problem just to add a tiny bit of water as you go. We don't want too much sauce left at the end. It should be nice and thick and just coating our, our vegetables. But we don't want it to dry out while it's, it's cooking. So whilst we're waiting on the curry cooking for the last few minutes, let me just tell you what we've got ready for cooking the, the naan breads. So I'm going to be cooking them in this pan, my favourite Netherton Foundry pan, or one of my, my favourite pans. And this is great because it's, it's nice and light, it heats up really quickly. It's got a lovely flat bottom which sits perfectly on the floor of the oven, so I get direct heat. And it's going to let me cook these flatbreads nice and quickly. Cooking them on the floor of the oven is a little bit difficult when you lean into um, put the, the, a flatbread onto the wall of a tandoor, you wet it a little bit, lean in and slap it on there. That works perfectly. Doesn't work so well trying to lean in and slap a flatbread onto the, the floor of the oven, or at least I found it hasn't. So we're just going to wet one side of the bread and pop it straight into the pan and that's going to cook it, give us that same effect. So we should be about there with the curry. That's close to 15 minutes. And that's all feeling nice and soft, not falling apart, just nice and soft. With the lid on, that'll keep hot for, for quite a while. So it will allow us to get on and cook our naan breads. And first of all, I'm going to get the pan nice and hot. And then on the table here, I want a little patch of flour for shaping. And a little splash of water for dipping the bread in before it goes into the pan. So we'll take our first naan bread and just pat that all down. I'm going to make these round and then I'm just kind of roughly stretching this out. Into that water and into the pan, just like that. And into the oven. And that water on one side is gonna make that side particularly crisp. And then the top will puff up, It'll be nice and soft and light and fluffy. So we get that nice kind of contrast that you get in a very traditional naan bread. So if we have a look at this one, that looks great. We've got some nice color, general color, and the odd little bit of scorching, and it's feeling nice and puffed and crispy. Onto there, the underside, it's got a different texture, a different look and feel to it. And then on top of that, a little bit of ghee. And if you haven't got ghee, just a little bit of butter will do the same thing. But ghee has a particular kind of flavour. So there we have our squash, our butternut squash curry. Lovely vegetarian main course meal and our fantastic curry shop style naan breads all cooked in the wood-fired oven. Thank you very much for joining us at Wood-Fired Weekly. We will, of course, put the recipe on our blog and there will be a link below the video to take you to that. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, please do. We'd love to have you and we'll see you next time.